So for lab 4, our FPGA's clock is controlled by this module called time counter. It takes in the 100 MHz internal clock that the FPGA has, along with the current state of our FPGA alarm clock, and the user's input minutes, hours, and seconds. And it outputs the current seconds, minutes, and hours that the clock should be displaying. So what this uh, code does is it checks for the state and it determines what it should be doing based on that state. If the state is 2-bit 01, that means that the user is setting the current time. So it just assigns seconds, minutes, and hours to the user's inputs. And if it's not state 2-bit 01, that means that our clock should be regulating itself and updating. In order to do so, we've created a counter variable called current count that's fed in by this variable called new count. Both of these variables are tied into a 32-bit lookahead adder that we've created. And what this lookahead adder does is it just adds 1 to current count because increment has been set to 1 over here. So every single time we update current count with new count, we've just incremented current count by 1 and we're incrementing it again. So what this does is every single time our clock goes positive, current count is incremented by 1. So we can use this fact along with the fact that it's a 100 MHz internal clock to say, oh, if current count has reached 100 million, that means that 100 million cycles have passed, which corresponds to one second on a 100 MHz clock. So we can use this to essentially make it so that every single time one second's passed, the FPGA itself is able to know that, oh, one second has passed. And then we use the basic logic that follows in the clock. If seconds has reached 60, then increment minutes. If it's 59 minutes, 60 seconds, then now it's one hour, zero minutes, zero seconds, and so on and so forth to create the behavior of a regular clock. Hello, so this is our lab for demo. Uh, this state is our current time state. And if you press the middle button, it goes to the next state, which is our uh, time setting state. Uh, this is the hour, you can set it, uh, go up to uh, 23. Uh, this is our uh, minute setting. This is our uh, second setting. So let's uh, switch it back. And if, if you press the middle button again, it goes to the alarm setting. Uh, so this is basically like setting our uh, current time. And if press it again, this is our uh, 12 or 24 uh, switch. If you press the lower button, you can toggle to uh, PM. And if you press the middle button, it goes to the start state, and it will still leave here. If you want to change it back, go to the third state, press it again, and you go back and this video just showing how accurate our clock is okay so this is the demo of our alarm so as you can see the alarm is in seven seconds You go to set time, start from zero, push it on, and go to current time. Okay, check it out. The alarm sets off, and you can turn it off like this. So one of the biggest successes we had in lab four was making it easy for the user to set the time. So when you navigate over to set time mode, it clearly starts blinking the leftmost LED with one, letting the user know, oh, we're in set time mode. And as you use the buttons to transverse between hours, minutes, and seconds, the corresponding part of the clock will flash at the same time. So the user can clearly know, oh, right now, I'm, the flip switches I flip will control seconds. And if I click the left button, oh, right now I'm controlling minutes and I'm, I'm controlling hours. So it's very easy to set the time. Um, so I think one of our successes is um, the alarm checking uh, alarm checking module checks 
the current time uh, based on states. So it only checks time when the cur when the current state is our current is displaying our current time, and the uh, the uh, advantage of doing this is the alarm won't sound um, when you are setting up the time or setting up the alarm and um, I think our one of our failures is we haven't figured out a way to um, set the tone for our alarm sound so it sounds pretty monotonous